There we go. Okay, then we, we sort of came to an impasse, didn't we? Earlier, a few minutes you, ago, when you were well, asking for the oath, which yeah. I haven't got that information for you now, it's something that, I, that is readily accessible to me. But um, Could now I ask, that we've both. Do any of you take an oath of office when you take the position you're in? Could you just let my colleague finish first? That's you, a pleasure. You've, already, you've already asked me that question, I've explained that we do, but that I can't give you the detail of that now. Okay. You said that there is further information that you want to discuss yeah. with us. So if you, if you want to go ahead with that, then we'll, uh, we'll right, see whether ask, we can progress Could it. I ask this gentleman, did you take an oath of office when you took this position? Right, OK. What's that got to do with what you're here for? Uh, it's to see if you have the jurisdiction that you claim you have. Well, I'm a police officer, a warranted police officer, so yes, I do. If you're, well, here, if you're yes. here to talk to us, then talk to us. Okay. Well, I'm not here to answer questions from you at the moment, so if you've got a problem, you talk to us now. OK. OK? Yeah. But I do not stand under your jurisdiction. Well, I'm here to report a crime committed by a public servant of the Crown. Tell us what your problem right, is. Then. Well, I'll let you read it. All the information is available on the net as well. Okay. It's all there for anybody to see. You can ph photocopy these if you like as evidence, or you can download it off the net. Now, just for the record, the oath of office, you don't have anything. You don't have an oath of office, or you can get back to me with a copy of that. Well, I've already said, if you want to report something to us, we'll listen, but at the moment, I'm right, not so you ready haven't, to answer questions. Right, so you haven't offered me an oath of office, okay. There we go, if you'd like to have a look at that, please. This is the form that I returned to the... So in summary, is this related to a speeding ticket? Did I ask if you read that? I've read this and I'm asking you a question. Is this related to a speeding ticket? Could I ask you to read that, please? Would you mind reading that from start to finish? Right, OK. The thing is, at the moment, we're covering our response today, so we're not in a position now to spend a lengthy amount of time with you. We've come to hear your initial complaint, OK? If it's going to take a lot of time, there's other means of doing that. Uh, what will probably suit you better and suit us better. If, it, if it's brief, and we can help you now, and we're, you know, we're very happy to do that. We haven't got the time at the moment to sit down with you for what might seem like a long time to go through this. Well, how would it make any difference if I came at a later date? Well, no, we could perhaps see you at your home address. No, I'm quite happy here. Okay, I, and... I can I ask, is this a police station? Oh, uh, yes, I think it is. So I think you're aware okay, of that. Okay, when, when a crime is committed... Yeah. W or when somebody alleges a crime is committed, what is a member of the public supposed to do? Well, there are various means. Person. There are various means, including a diary car, which suits you. We can uh, arrange for uh, some. I'd like to speak for myself as to what suits me, if that's okay. Well, no, you've asked could me. You what, no, listen, you've asked me what, sorry, what, what sorry. options are available, and I'm you trying to tell you, and you're talking over me. I uh, quite right. Okay. I apologize if you want to come here to report a crime, then you tell us what crime it is, okay? Without giving us lots and lots of letters about uh, public servants and jurisdictions and goodness knows what. What, what is it you're alleging has happened to you? Right, I was given a speeding ticket. It's all in here. Yeah, well, that's what and we asked um, you in simple terms. Well, okay, I'll answer that. Okay. I apologise. No, that's fine. I was given a speeding ticket, and um, I didn't fill in the return form. I didn't sign it because that's an offer of contract. I was then told to follow statutory procedure, which is for a public servant of the Crown or any corporation. Who told you that? Um, Where is that advice from? The camera enforcement officer, which is all documented yep. here. Mm -hmm. yep. And um, so he told me to follow the statutory procedure. I replied asking him to follow the statutory procedure as a public servant. And I also asked for a freedom of information request. Mm -hmm. And I asked for my remedy under common law, which is I never get filmed again if he doesn't respond within 30 days. I never have my car photographed again. And I also ask, asked sorry, if they could accompany me to the camera so we can take the camera down. No, it's okay. Well, that's because not going to happen, is it? 
Right. Could you tell me why, please? Because they're they're there for the, the safety of the general community of motorists, aren't they? Just because you want a speed camera to be taken down, it's not going to happen, is it, overnight? Could you could you tell me give me could you explain to me what authority you have to determine that, please? No, that's this, that's my opinion. I don't know who you've been talking with or communicating with or which authority they're I'm from. I'm talking with you at the moment. No, I don't know who you've been talking with, who you've who you've been communicating with. Are you prepared to tell me? A uh, yeah, natural born sovereign human being. No, who's this person that you've been communicating with asking them not to film your car again? It's not a person, again? it's a human being. Okay. Living soul. Right, we're not getting anywhere at the moment, are we? Uh, I've got the information for you there, mm. which is the chief, uh, sorry, is it chief? Camera enforcement officer. Yeah. Who claims to have jurisdiction over me from the, ch is it the chief constable of Warwickshire Police? Well, Again, I've got, it's in writing. Because we're West Mercia, we're, we're, we're not Warwickshire. Okay, and um, I'm under the impression that because I returned my paperwork and gave him 30 days to respond, uh, him or her, sorry, I don't know the, the actual person. They didn't respond within 30 days, which means under the laws of equity and commerce, which all, you, uh, all public servants work under, is that he stands under my claim. Which Who is means this person and where does he work? Uh, he's a public servant and he works for the Crown. No, who is he? What is his name? And where does he work? Where have you been corresponding? I asked under the Freedom of Information Act for his name. Yeah. And I haven't received Well, you say you've been communicating with somebody because you asked them not to take photographs of your car and to remove a camera. So who have you been communicating with? The camera enforcement officer. For where? How have you, what address have you been writing to or who have you been speaking to? Oh, would you like to see it? I just want you to tell me. I'll show it to you. Um, that's a point. I haven't actually got an envelope with the address written on. Apart from that? On the... Um, Excuse me a second, I'm going to have to take a business call. Okay. Just, just so you know, on that website, I've actually photographed the um, the cover of the envelope as well, mm -hmm. where I sent it to. Mm -hmm. I also asked for the... Actually, that's a... Did you There you go. That's so is that some correspondence you've had from Warwickshire yes. Police? Yes, yes, ma'am. Have a look at that. Well, not that it could be Warwickshire Police. No, it, it says it is Warwickshire okay, Police. Okay, but that's the that's the camera enforcement officer. Yes, but it's got Warwickshire Police logo okay. on the top, hasn't it? Obviously, been having some communication with the manager at the um, camera enforcement unit with Warwickshire Police, and they have reviewed your letter and decided that there's no grounds for them to prevent the ticket from being processed, and that the matter will be processed, and that you um, you have a responsibility to identify the driver of the vehicle when when it went through the speeding camera. And if you fail to um, return the notice by the 30th of August, then that's the matter that's going to be dealt with at court. So. My feeling about this at the moment is that it's actually subjudice and something that we can't discuss with you because... Well, could you define that, that word, please? Subjudice, it means that it's it's something that's in the hands of the court, is going to be considered by the magistrates at court, and so consequently we're not able to discuss the details of it with you, even if we did have the details, to be fair, because this is Warwickshire Police. It clearly says in here that the matter is being dealt with at court. Well, the matter's finished because it's, you didn't respond within 30 days. If you continue that way... I did respond, but I didn't respond on your page, oh sorry, on their page head, I responded on my page head, mm -hmm. and, and then he then responded again, if you wish to read it, if you wish to read my letters to them, and, and he it's just... Still process, it's still progressing, isn't it, as a fixed penalty for speeding, and it's still going to court, so is it's it? still subdued. Is, is that... It says on here that... However, I must again point out that after careful consideration of your representations and review of the evidence, I can find no reason to alter my initial decision, which was that it will proceed to court, not to intervene in the fixed penalty process. Okay. 
So this is something that we can't actually discuss with you because it's potentially going to court. Warwickshire police, are the, Warwickshire police are the authority that are dealing with this. And so it's then that you obviously have had a lot of conversation with and correspondence with that you need to progress with them. It's, we don't know anything about it to be able to discuss with you. We could jeopardise any future dealings in court. That's what the judiciary means. So as the, as the officer hasn't responded within my time period, do I have any, what would be the word, what can I do to hold them to account? If you're unhappy with an officer, any officer, whether it's Westminster or Warwickshire, you're entitled to make a complaint. But that's exactly what I've done. I handed it in yesterday with four witnesses. Okay. And right. this, this here is your complaint? That's part of it, yes. You say part of it, so did you hand something yeah, else It's part of the correspondence. Oh, so this is all you handed in yesterday? No, I only handed one piece of paper yeah, in yesterday because nobody turned there. up to see me. After right, an so hour that's, that, that's what this, this is what you handed in yesterday. You're perfectly no, fine with you. Having read it, we weren't clear as to what... That is not what I... I that's stapled. Is, is that you? Have you that's guys stapled that? Yes, I've stapled that. To oh, sorry, love. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. didn't recognise. Yeah. What's the second bit of paper? That's just an incident log that we keep on. We know that you've been to the police station and that's why I had your phone number to be able to ring you this morning to say if you want to discuss it okay. further. Okay, so that's, sorry, that's all yeah. that is. Is it possible for me to have a copy of the incident log? Yes, if you uh, if you contact us in writing, or Excellent. if you make a request for, for freedom of information, as you have with Warwick, okay. yes, I'm sure they'll be able to uh, consider whether you can have one. Okay. Okay. So the bottom line here is: is are you here to make a complaint against Warwickshire Police yes. and the enforcement yes. in respect of a, a ticket that you've received? Yes. So that that sum summarises it. Um, I'm here because the camera enforcement officer hasn't responded within 30 days okay. that I gave him. Well I'm happy to take a complaint and yeah. forward it to Warwickshire Police and they will they will investigate it as they see fit. Um, yeah, I, I suppose that's what I have to do there. Well that's, um, that's the only recourse that I have. Okay. The options to, available to you are to make a complaint here, for me to take the details of those and for them to be forwarded to Warwickshire Police. But the police details them, I've already given. Them. No, we have proper forms that we have to complete. Okay. I have given you my form. In my work, but there are certain sections within the form that have to be signed, for example, by you. I will not be signing any of your documents. Right, okay. Well, in that case, I'm happy to just put a covering letter on this to say that we've had a conversation that you've refused to complete all the necessary paperwork to, to, to lodge a formal complaint because I need, your, I need your signatures on those forms. I'll forward it to Warwickshire Police and they, they will investigate it as they see fit. If you're not happy with that, then you do have recourse to a higher authority in respect of complaints, in the Police Complaints Authority. And you, I can give you some information about that. And it's got all their contact information and it shows you how you can contact them. And they are basically the Ombudsman in respect of complaints, the IPCC. Okay. I don't feel that we're actually going to get much further than that today. No, but yeah, I presume you acknowledge I've handed that bit of paper. Absolutely, I've got it here. I've, I've raised no an issue about... And I will, be con I will be sending that with a letter covering it saying that you're making a formal complaint because I've explained to you that we weren't able to complete the proof the full forms that are required because there's a, a refusal by you to sign and that I've also handed you the information about the um, Independent Police Complaints Commission for you to uh, consider whether is, you want to Is make the only way that, that this line. can be, uh, what's the word I need to use, investigated properly is for me to sign your documents? Do I have we're, to sign your paperwork? To, we are not going to be investigating this. This is a complaint that will be considered initially by Warwickshire Police and then there is also the IPCC there available to oversee that complaint. But neither myself nor Sergeant Billingham are, it's not our role to be able to, to investigate that complaint. Not at all? No. No. We don't, we don't. So even though I, I'm it. alleging, well, it's a crime? You've made, you're, you've I, said I yourself you want, to make, you want to make a complaint, a complaint against Warwickshire Police. And uh, that's our process. Yes, a public servant of the Crown. That's our process. Which I presume you're all public servants of the Crown. I'll go and get the form that you need for the IPCC. Is that correct? Can we take a photocopy while we're at it of the letter from Warwickshire, which gives them their references so they'll know what you're referring to? Are you happy with that? I'm happy to photocopy any of them. They're on yeah. the internet. Can I just have a look at that, please? So I'll just get a copy of uh, one of these letters. Is there a statutory procedure for one public servant of the Crown to uh, 
discipline another or hold there, to there are working protocols okay which we're trying to go through with you now there's sets procedures for dealing with complaints we we've got officers in West Mercy that deal with West Mercia complaints okay this relates to Warwickshire Police which is a whole separate police force okay so we would record your initial complaint mm -hmm. we would forward that to Warwickshire and their designated officers that deal with complaints will investigate it for you and then, uh, are you saying then that somebody from this force from this a public servant from here cannot investigate a public servant from no I haven't said that at all I'm saying that there are protocols for West Mercia officers from professional standards to investigate West Mercia complaints and there are protocols for Warwickshire uh, professional standard officers to investigate Warwickshire complaints. That's the, that's the normal way it is. And can, could it be done that a public servant from this force investigates? It wouldn't, it wouldn't be done. Unless, if you're not happy with that, then you go to the Independent Police Complaints Commission, which you'll be given a leaflet okay. about. I think you've made that clear. But um, I'll need a photocopy of that because there's reference numbers on there and there's obviously they'll know what we're referring to. Are you happy for me to take a I am, but I've noticed you're not photocopying any of my work. So That's because for the whoever record. investigates this, I've already said, from Warwickshire Police will undoubtedly make contact with you to, to process this further. Initially... So, okay, so are you... Are you I, I'm sorry I'm taking up your time. No, it's okay. Are you saying that you've already made enough of an evaluation without actually reading any of my paperwork? Well, or have you read? Sorry. Part, reading the paperwork okay. um, is part of the investigation, I would suggest. Now, I'm not in a position today, because of my role, we've all got different roles and responsibilities, my role today is, is response, which is the safety uh, of the community Sorry, of okay. Redditch. Okay. For someone to go through this folder is going to take quite some time, and I'm not in a position to do that. That's fine. Okay. So that would be dealt with by Warwickshire, whoever's allocated and to deal with the And is it possible for me to have an appointment with somebody in this uh, jurisdiction, in Redditch, for, from for Redditch what? Police Station, that is of an authority that could sit and read this and make an evaluation and decide whether the, a crime has been committed or... I've already said it's, it's a, a complaint about a Warwickshire officer, so Warwickshire professional standards officers will be in contact with you to investigate it for you. It won't be something that a Redditch officer does. Excellent, you've made that very clear. Well, I, can I it's probably just my misunderstanding. No, no, not at all. Are you okay for me to take a photocopy? I certainly am. Just the one document. Okay. Well, I'm ha no, no, I am happy for you to photocopy any document you like. I'm letting you know I'm photocopying that one fine. document. That's fine. Just Thank for you the very benefit much. of your recorders, it's dated the 25th of August, and it's from Warwickshire Police. Okay. Uh, right, but there are more documents from Warwickshire Police. You've told Police. me many, many times. Okay. I just want this for reference. Number. Okay.
Right, that's your original document. Thank right? you very much. We're happy to confirm that that's, that's the one that I've made a copy. Um, I'm just taking one straight copy of it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I can definitely confirm that. Okay. There are more, but I presume you're happy with just that one. Yeah, it's just to let them know what they're going to be dealing with. Okay, their they'll job later on will be to investigate it. It's just that they've got a reference number and they can they can work out who they should be speaking to. And okay, uh, for the record, could I just ask for your name and the other person's name, please, and your title? Yeah, or well, my colleague's given you a name. Uh, could you give yeah. me a... Uh, sorry. Uh, I'll give you my name. My name's Sergeant Neil Billingham. Okay, Sergeant Neil Billingham. My colleague, well, once she comes back, we'll give you a Thank you. Thank you. I'm just going to go and assist and sort out a leaflet for you. Okay. So you the right Are you happy to wait here for a couple of minutes? I am, yes, no okay. problem at all. Thank you.
you. Hi, Mr. Morris. Unfortunately, um, I've just been online, and the IPCC website's down at the moment, believe it or not. I've just, it just won't allow me access to it. So what I've done is I've found their, in their details. There's the, um, their address in Colville in Leicestershire, and with the contact telephone number and the fax number so that you can contact them. They do have if a I website. If you need to. Right, yeah. They do have a website. If you put IPCC into Google, which is exactly what I've just done, it comes okay. up, but it, it won't but let I me presume, go into the detail I presume of it. you guys are now going to pass it to the next relevant yes. officer. Yes, so go to Warwickshire. That's fine, I'm yes. happy with that. Yeah. If you okay. guys are passing it to the next relevant officer, yep. yeah, we are. then I'm sorry for wasting your time. No. They haven't wasted our time at all. It just took us a while to get to the point in hand, didn't it? That's all. Mm, yes. And I think we finally got it's there. It's taken me a lot longer than you realise. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, you've got that information now, but we'll, we'll send that on. And there'll, be, there'll be a record of that kept here on the computer, to the fact that you've had a conversation with us and that we've agreed to post that to forward that on to them, and that will be recorded here anyway. Yeah, so and you, then you can be assured I presume that. there's a procedure by which they'll get in touch with me. Well, it could be down to Warwickshire's complaints procedure as to how they do that. I, I don't know how they, they do it, but they will be in touch, but quite how, I don't know. Okay. Um, just out of curiosity, I, if it gets to the stage where I think it is already, that I believe a crime has been committed, an offence, against me. Mm -hmm. Is there any advice you can give me as to how I could make, I could take that forward? I uh, bearing in mind I suggest you need to take some independent legal advice on that. I am my independent legal advice. Okay, but it may be that, I don't know what your expertise is, but it may be that somebody, maybe a solicitor does have more expert knowledge in respect to criminal law, and uh, it may be that they could give you further guidance as to the best, best way of taking that forward. As we see it at the moment, it's, it's a complaint, you've said that yourself, but it needs to go to Warwickshire, so... Um it's a complaint of a, an offence committee, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, could I just ask for your name and your title, please? Absolutely, yeah, I'm Sergeant Jilk. Sergeant Jilk, yeah. and um, just one f question, but this, I'm not really sure what I'm asking, so forgive me for this. Have any of you ever taken an oath of office? Why, why is that important? Because I'm under the impression that's something to do with you protecting the public and doing your duty to look after humanity mm -hmm. on our behalf. Mm. Am I, have you ever heard of an oath of office? Yeah, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm not prepared to answer that because that's fine. we're Thank here, we're here to, to deal Thank with you your complaint, much. okay? That's, that's um, if there's fine. nothing else in relation to the complaint now. For now, no. All right. No, thank you very much Lovely. for your time. Thank, thank you very you. much. Have a good day, guys. And you. Let the camera run out, there we go. No, it's going.